Hey y'all, I'm Kat and I'm back with another video. I am on my way to the doctor to have a pre-screening because I'm having another, I repeat, another, number four to be exact, back surgery on June the 29th. So I'm headed there, then my bag got me some money to go get a pedicure. So I'm gonna go do that. And then we're gonna take these shoes back to Macy's, see if I can find something else. If not, that's okay. So I just got, thought I'd get on here and get my day started. And I'll check back in with y'all later. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later. Okay, y'all, I got my pink drink. This is drag dragon fruit with coconut milk and sweet cold foam. I forgot to tell y'all in the last videos. Now I'm on my way to Macy's, but I had to show y'all that I stopped and got me a drink. Okay, it is raining. My leg hurts, my back hurts. I just took my pain meds. Babe just brought me this over. So it is a steak quesadilla, some black beans, some rice and some elote Mexican corn. I'm not gonna be able to eat it all, but I'm about to eat as much as I can. So good night, y'all. See y'all in the morning. Okay. My babe just came in. If you don't know, now you know. I am a coffee connoisseur. I don't do Starbucks. I do my own. The cheapest place to get them if you have one in your city is Home Buys. And he got me caramel. And then he got chai. And then vanilla chai. As well as butter pecan, salted caramel, and maple bourbon pecan. So now this is inspiring me to go shopping and redo my coffee bar. So I'll let y'all see that when I come back from picking up some items. <laughs> hey y'all, it's another day. I am officially at Walmart. I want to get some things taken care of before I have my back surgery. Then after that, we are going to go to Whole Foods and get some salmon and then I'm gonna go home and cook. If I get anything out of Walmart or Target, I will show y'all when I get home. I hope y'all having a wonderful day. I'll talk to y'all in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a quick haul from Walmart. I got my grandson three of these t-shirts. They were $3.98, short sleeve. I just got him black, white, and gray. I needed a black belt. I got a new shower curtain. I got a new shower curtain liner. I got a new shower curtain, as well as I needed some more refills for my Febreze plugins. So I just got the game set and the Hawaiian Aloha, as well as I wanted to try this secret weightless dry spray. Then I got some coffee creamer, some Fritos, some Doritos, some cheese puffs, because something is telling me my grandson is going to call me and ask me, can he come over? Then I got some Lay's Dip. Then I got some smoked paprika, some garlic powder, some oregano, a cucumber, some guacamole, some pico de gallo, some avocado and cilantro sauce. Two things of whole pinto beans. Then I've never seen these before, so I'm gonna try these. These are some chalupas. All you have to do is fry them, but I'm gonna put salmon and shrimp in mine. Then I got some taco seasoning. Then I saw these. 
they're called tortilla pockets. So I got those. And then I got the Mexican crema. And I got some blue cheese crumbles. Some feta cheese. Some french fries. Some regular sour cream. Some mozzarella cheese. Some corn. Some better crunch lettuce. I haven't bought sugar in two years, so I bought some. Then I got some colossal shrimp, some extra large shrimp, Texas toast. Then I got some donut shop, nutty caramel um, pots. I got some more dragon fruit powder for the pink drink. I got some caramel pots. Then I wanted to try these red, white, and blue Italian ice. As well as I got the strawberry lemonade. Then I got three of the Minute Maid pink lemonade zero sugars. And then I got an iced coffee, dark roast, and sweetened. Then from Dollar Tree, I got some wood glue because they only had one of these trays left. And they gave me a discount, so I bought the disc. So I bought the wood glue so I could fix it. I bought some garlic and herb seasoning from Dollar Tree. Two of those. Some steak seasoning. Three of the coconut waters. A lemon and a lime. Three awesomes. Some of these hooks, but I bought the command strips to go on the back because I keep on hanging those things up that's in the shower and they keep falling down and I didn't put five up there so I'm going to try these instead of the ones that it comes with and then I got some carpet freshener and then from Whole Foods I got some six pieces of salmon this is the salmon that I always tell y'all it, it, it melts like butter in your mouth so I got six pieces from Whole Foods this lobster tail is as big as my forearm. It came from Costco. From Target, I got some OxyClean White Revive. And then I got some more Gain Scent Beads, which I got a $5 gift card because I bought two of those. Then I want to refresh my coffee bar, as I told y'all the other day. So I got a new honey dipper from the $5 spot. I got this because I want to uh, reorganize my pantry. Then I got the smaller ones that you can stack on top of here for $5. These were $5. This one was five dollars. Here are the command strips I'm gonna try in my shower. Hopefully it won't fall down again. I got some new shower curtain hooks. These are the two-sided ones, so you don't have to take everything off in order to change your shower liner. Then I got this one to put in my pantry as well. And then I got this clear one to go on my coffee bar, and it was $8. This one was $5 as well. But I got this one, it was $8. Now I'm going to see if this one, if I like the clear or the white one on my coffee bar. And I went out to get a shower curtain. That's what I ended up with. Uh, to get a shower curtain and the stuff for today's dinner. And this is all the stuff I ended up with. So let me put it away. Then I think we might cook. So we'll see. Because my back hurts. I got a package from Amazon. And it is some lashes. And because I don't know how to put on the strips. I thought I tried the individual ones. And then I got another package. And I'm going to try this Kiss Boscara. 
I've seen a couple of videos and I'm going to try to apply some false lashes using this. And once I apply them, let me know if you like them because I don't have a clue of what I'm doing. I uh, ordered these set of bins from Amazon. They were on sale for $18 and some change. I'm going to organize this because the oil keeps leaking in my drawer. And then I just ordered two things of bubble bath. It's the Amazon brand. It had a lot of good reviews. I ordered the honey. I ordered the milk and honey scent with essential oils. And then I ordered the lavender scent with essential oils. So I'm going to fill my containers up in the bathroom and organize my drawer. I will leave a link to everything in this video in the description box below. Going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life. You like to drive and get down and dirty. You act like the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight. Mm, you got the best of me. Since we I've been hopeful, baby. I was hoping maybe they cross my path. Mm -hmm. I've been sinking lately, and it's hard to move. I think I'm stuck on you. Boy, it transits. Going off to different places, different planets. Watch your own. Okay, I put my new brushes right here. These are the ones that I'm going to start using. And then these are just extra. There's some extra hand sanitizers. And this is an eyelash applicator that I got from Timu. You just put the eyelash on there, bring it towards your eye, and then lay your eyelash on there. So I like this way better. And then I can start using my stuff. I'm going to slide this back. Slide that back. Then I organized all my makeup brushes according to how I'm going to use them. I put the extra ones in the back. And then right here, I can easily access all my lip glosses and lip liners and stuff like that. Eyebrow archers. So that's what I did with my containers. Anything that's open that can leak, I put it in here.
all my balance is right here the scarfs is behind it and then it's easier for me to access all my hair ties and stuff in these two drawers i got this new tumbler by simple modern i ordered off of amazon there's a 40 ounce tumbler it comes with the straw This is what it looks like. It comes in a lot of different colors. I couldn't make up my mind on what color I wanted because it comes in so many different colors. It has the silicone opening right here. And it comes with these two straws. And it does fit in your car inside the cup holder. I will leave the link in the description box. So yeah, thank you babe for my new cup. Then I ordered these, it's a set of 32 I think. It comes in a circle, square, and rectangle because I wanna make my own homemade egg bites. Sometimes you just don't feel like cooking a whole breakfast. So I can pre-make them and then come down here and heat them up in the microwave. But this is what they look like. I ordered them from Amazon. And they are silicone reusable. So I will leave these in the description box as well. Hey y'all, I'm at Walmart. So I wanna get a couple of things so I can organize my kitchen. I'll show y'all what I get when I come out. And then when I get home, I'll start organizing. So I just thought I'd check in with y'all. See y'all later. Okay, my cabinet is all put together. It took me all day to put together. I'm waiting on Amazon right now so I can switch these handles out. I ordered silver to go with another item that I ordered to go in my kitchen that's already put together. So yes, this is the cabinet and I'm proud of myself. I only made one mistake. <laughs> But I got it done. Here's what the inside looks like. Because by my kitchen being so small, I needed a pantry. Okay, stay tuned. And I'll show you cabinet number two and number three. Okay, my handles just arrived from my cabinet from Amazon. Now I am about to put them on and show you what the cabinet looks like with the silver instead of the black. Okay, this is how they look. Now all of my drawer pulls and door pulls are the same color. I ordered me some upgraded cabinet door pulls because these are the ones that it came with. And I think they look cheap, as well as I wanted them to match my other door handles from my other cabinet. So that's what just came in this box was my new cabinet pulls. Okay, I'm finished building my cabinet. So I ordered some handles from Amazon, which are the silver ones. They are brushed nickel. And then the white one is what came with the cabinet. So I'm showing you how just by changing your hardware, it helps elevate the look of the cabinets. Because this, the white one is plastic and it looks cheap. The silver handles match the handles that I bought for the other cabinet. So that's what it looks like. Now I need to add the other three on there and then I'll be done with this cabinet. Okay, I got them all on. And this is what they look like. Okay, let me move on to my next project. About to move out.
need to go get some more boxes. to mopping and then we're gonna move all my furniture back in okay so I bought these two containers I actually bought one this size and two this size from Target so I can sit my condiments in like that so it won't stain my um the white shelf that this will be sitting on I gotta wash these but this is what I'm using to organize my cabinets. Well, one of them. And then I'll show you, I bought the clear bins for the first one that I showed you. Y'all, I'm tired, so forgive me if I sound tongue tied. Okay, as I showed y'all in my other shopping hauls that I bought organization supplies, this is what I ended up doing with the white container that I got from the Dollar Tree or Dollar 25 tree. <laughs> I ended up putting my extra napkins in here as as you know as you don't need all of them and sometimes they be all over the place so i just figured i store the extra ones in here until i need to refill my napkin holder then i bought this little white container from the dollar tree as well to put all of my extra forks in so they can stay neat because as you know digging in the box is not um, aesthetically pleasing after a while because the box looks raggedy so I just decided to put these in there and now I'm gonna put the top on them and store them in the cabinet and then I'll show you how everything looks that I put in the cabinet once I get it in there okay I'm back from Walmart I got two of these large lidded storage bins they are stackable as well as I got this canister so I can put something in it that's in my other cabinet that doesn't match. And then I just got two cold brew coffees. I haven't tried this before, so I want to try that. Now I'm about to empty out this cabinet and wash all of these. I'll show y'all what it looks like before. And then once I get it organized, I'll show you an after, and then we'll do my coffee bar. Mm -hmm. 
think we lost all but who will take the fall who will win it all you know the cost still you go through walls keep on acting small package has arrived and this is my new seasoning jars they come with the labels and here's what the jars look like and they come with a permanent pen I ordered 36 of them also come with the funnel and some extra caps and here are the labels that go on the top of the jar as well as they give you some blank ones in case um, they don't have what you need inside of here Okay, so I have them all washed. There's the caps. This one is cracked and it has a hole in it. So I don't want to send all of them back because I want to get this um, organization video done. So I will have to send all of these back in order to get a new set. So it's just going to be one missing. Then I took the wet paper towel and wiped all these caps down. I didn't want to immerse them in water because they have this little styrofoam capping thing in the top. So I didn't want to get that wet. So I, wet, I dampened a paper towel and I went through and wiped each one down. So when those jars dry by tomorrow, 
I'll start filling them up. I'm worth it, working out my issues with you, with you. My highs and my lows is part of being human. Can you weather the storm? This is what they look like. I'm so happy. It took me about three and a half hours. They do come in alphabetical order as well. So once you get a rhythm, you'll start doing it a little faster. I realized that they came in alph alphabetical order once I got started, as well as make sure you lay all of your bottles in the same direction. So when you stand them up, they will all read going the same way. I did make a mistake doing that on three, but I'm glad I caught it before I did a whole lot of them. Then right here is all my extra seasonings. I have my Slap Your Mamas and all my salts. And then all my rubs. So I'm trying to decide if I want to get some more or just put these up in the cabinet. You're my mirror, I could finally see. Bringing out the best in me, yeah. I don't want no problems, but I know I got a lot. So my cabinets look like bacon stuff, extra refills, all my sauce, all the stuff for barbecuing, all my daily seasonings is all down here. Some refill baskets in the middle. So that's what that looks like. I ordered some more stackable containers so I can finish my pantry makeover. The ones that I ordered before do not stack. So now I can complete my pantry and I'll show you what they look like once I unbox them and put the items in it. Okay, this is what the containers look like. I got a set of four and then they have these lids. Oh, I did go get a manicure. These are my nails and they turned out really, really pretty. Back to the organization video. Enough about these nails, but they are pretty. This is what this pantry ended up looking like after I ordered some more containers. So I have all my seasonings over here. All of my liquids, marinades, sauces, anything like that right here. Then I have my refill things right here, as well as things to put on popcorn. Then I ordered some more of these containers with the jars to put the popcorn in. And then I have all my rice, pastas, and stuff right here. And then down here, I just have my containers with pastas, um, rice, grits, and stuff like that. And then my extra overflow stuff. So I like this organization better than the last clip that I showed you. So now let me show you this package that I got for Amazon so I can complete my coffee bar. Okay, as you can see, earlier in my video, I had some coffee syrup. We found some new ones. So I got the pistachio latte. I got this dragon fruit drink for my grandson because he likes the pink drinks from Starbucks. I got salted caramel. I got butter pecan. I got butter toffee as well as I got white chocolate pumpkin. And the reason why I'm showing you these is because I got this package from Amazon. 
and it came with these labels so you can label your coffee syrup dispenser it came with this brush it came with this silicone funnel And I like these because I've never seen them before on anybody's video. They are the tall ones. I think it is so pretty and aesthetically pleasing. So let me set this right here and get the other one out. So this is what they look like. Now I'm about to wash them and fill them up, and then I'll be finally be done with my coffee bar. They dream when me let your mind explode. over here I just have things that we use every single day okay I ordered some more containers because I did not like the way it looked in the last clip that I showed you so I put all of my packets in these type of drawers so it'll be easier to get to then I have another one back here then I have all my drink stuff right here all my seeds. Basically, this is breakfast stuff. Then down here, I decided to put all of my Ziploc bags and things like that in this container right here to keep them organized. Then I have my breakfast packs for my grandson, the napkins that I showed you, and then the forks right here. This is my grandson's snack box. Just got some cookies and stuff in here. And then down here, I just have my, like sugar, flour, cornstarch, and stuff like that. So I like this organization better, and it works out better, especially it keeps these organized. Since my drawers in my kitchen is not big enough to get an organizer, I just put them in this container. So this is what this looks like. I put my bread box over here instead of on top of my deep freezer because the deep freezer puts off heat and it was molding my bread i was getting ready to start over here but my back hurts so i got as much as i could done today i have surgery in the morning good morning y'all i'm about to go to the hospital i'm in the bathroom i'm about to uh bathe with this where they're going to do the incisions and then put on a dress and then I'll be headed to the hospital. Just thought I'd check in with y'all and I'll see y'all soon. Good morning. <laughs> you nervous? No, you? Yeah. You're gonna be all right. Gonna be all right? Yeah, I'm here. I'm well, here for us. This is my aftercare nurse for today. <laughs> I hope he doesn't do a shitty job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll talk to y'all once I wake up. Carry the winds, drummed out the rain. You said some pizza. I thought that's what they talk about, but I guess it was a, a dream. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ice coffee. Right now, they do. Is 
the iced coffee. Ooh, ooh. My back for my bumblebees. Bumblebees is in them. Like That's what it feels like. Yeah. I had, I had, I had iced coffee too. I see why you drink it. Oh man, you just gonna make me suffer. That's what's up. You won't begin no four tops. No four tops. No four tops. I'll be like, I remember I ain't got no coffee. Then my lips look like pookie. <laughs> no. They look worse than pookie. Oh. They look like the white. The white brown mouth. <laughs> the day after surgery I just woke up well this is what my babe bought me with strict instructions for me not to go downstairs so I could eat sausage sausage biscuits and gravy and bacon I got me a waffle some cheese grits a steak omelet with some hash browns. So, just making sure that I got enough food up here until he can come back over. Uh, I think he gets off work at nine or 10 o'clock. So, this is what I got to eat. I really don't have an appetite, so I'm just gonna eat this waffle for right now. I lay back down. Okay, I'll talk to y'all later. So I'm supposed to be upstairs because I just had surgery, and this is what I found when I came down here to give me something to drink. So I guess I'm busted because I was thirsty. <laughs> Let me get me some to drink and get my ass back upstairs before I get in trouble. I got these tumblers from Amazon. This is the brand. It's a 32 ounce tumbler. Comes in a package of two. Let me unbox it so I can show y'all what they look like. This is how they come packaged. This is what the lid looks like. It comes with two straws. A straw cleaner. The other lid. I love coffee. So I wanted a clear tumbler so I can start showing y'all how I make my drinks. And this is what they look like. They're above 32 ounces. And I got them from Amazon. If you are interested, I will leave the links in the description box below. Y'all better catch that Amazon Prime sale. Okay, we went out shopping yesterday, me, babe, and my grandson. So I got um, a vegetable washer from Ross. It was $24.99, as well as we got some new tongs, and they were $6.99. Got a potato pillar, set of two, $6.99. And then I got these dishes. This is what they look like, and they were $8.99. I got a new oil dispenser, set of two, and these were $6.99. 
Also from Ross, I got this marble mortar and pestle set. And this is what it looks like up close. And it was $7.99. Also from Ross, I got this airtight canister for my uh, coffee bar makeover. And it was $6.99. So this is all the stuff that we got from Ross. And thank you, baby. I appreciate you. You spoiled me rotten. My daddy started it, and you're finishing it. <laughs> then we went to a, a new wholesale uh, warehouse called BJ's. My babe got, a, got us a membership, and these were $9 for all three of these, so I got a set of two. I already used one. So if you have a BJ's um, in your area, check them out. Some things were a deal, some things weren't, but most of their household stuff is a better deal than Costco and Sam's Club. Also from Walmart, babe got me a new deep fryer. I don't know how much it was because I wasn't with him when he got it. Then we went to Aldi and I got this for my coffee bar makeover. And it was $8.99. I also got these two new canisters from Aldi for $8.99 to put my coffee in. And from Michael's I got, then Michael's had a 75% off sale. I got all of these for less than $5. And this goes with my kitchen makeover as well. I also got some bedroom stuff, but I'll show you that stuff in a later video. Just show, thought I'd show y'all what I got from my shopping haul. Right here. This is where I keep my water, put it on the, on the floor, and it's filled up. And this is a good way to store your water if you don't want it to sit on the floor. I got this trash can as a gift, originally to use it as a trash can. However, it was too small and I didn't want it. So I just turned it into a water storage container. And I got this from Wayfair. And this is the before. I put all this stuff over here. And I'll show y'all the after when I get finished. say anything but it could mean everything because you said it to the right person and they needed the compliment but it's in a sickening you can say you're alone with them but it won't mean anything at all but that's not your fault life's funny like that you lose one thing get another one back you thought you knew but it wasn't a fact no them your whole there's no meaning But like in the best of ways You could go a hundred days Without really doing anything And still have the right to say I'm so incredible Oh yeah, I'm lovable Cause it's not a love performance, no There's nothing that you owe I'm so feel no need to explain I'll say it all again now, You don't have to show them so frustrating can't take yourself out the equation can't wait longer than your own patience can't wait longer than your own patience like you're here waiting until you're not can't remember what you forgot you can't take yourself out the equation life's funny like that you lose one thing get another one back you thought you know but it wasn't no fact no them your whole life there's no meaning But like in the best of ways You could go a hundred days Without really doing anything And still have the right to say I'm so So right here I have my honey spoons and ginger tea Then right there in that container I have my boba mix 
Then right there, I have my coffee. I love Colombian coffee. Then right here is my honey container. I just have it for looks. I'm not going to put honey in it. Then I put the sugar thing right there. I really don't use sugar, but all of my kids drink coffee. And if guests come over, I'll have sugar for them. That's my extra coffee mug, as I showed you in the clip earlier. Then I have some uh, Colombian coffee right there. Then I have salted caramel um, chai. Then I have vanilla chai. And then I have the matcha green tea mix. And then my new caramel syrup dispensers. So this is what this area is looking like. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let me show you what's in these cabinets right here. Okay, so right here, I have all of my clear coffee mugs, as well as my coffee glasses with my glass straws. Then I have these double wall coffee mugs, as well as some espresso glasses and spoons. Then above that, I have some florals that I got from Burlington, as well as some mini watering pots that my mom gave me before she passed away. And then this big coffee mug flower arrangement came from Michael's. And then I have the same thing right here. In this cabinet, I have all of my wine and martini glasses on this shelf. And then down here, I have all my short wine glasses as well as my short champagne stem glasses. And then I have these. You just pour wine in them and sip out of this part right here, like a little straw. Then I have the bigger version back there, as well as I have some shot glasses. So this is what my wine glass cabinet looks like. I'm happy of how everything turned out. You can't take yourself out the equation. Life's funny like that. You lose one thing, get another one. Then down here, I just have all different flavors of tea. My things to put designs on my coffee. And extra stuff to design my coffee. Down here, I just have all my extra coffee pods as well as my um, syrups. And down here, I have all my liquor stuff as well as some extra coffee syrups. And then all of my extra stuff for when I'm hosting and making drinks. An extra coffee cup. And on this side, this is my Starbucks collection of my cups. And this is how my coffee bar ended up. My babe got me this wine from a wine place that his son used to work at. And it is chocolate wine. It is delicious. It is Van Chocolate New York. And then these bottles of wine up here, I just got them for color. I don't drink them, but if somebody wants to drink them, they can. My best friend is on her way over here. So I'm about to drink one of these. So let me put it in the freezer. My wine rack comes with um, a glass holder at the bottom where you can hold six wine glasses. The command strip took the paint off of the wall. These are my pictures. You're in love with them, but it won't mean anything. But that's not your fault. There was a lot of work. Was one thing, get another one back. You thought you know, but it wasn't a fact. No, I'm your whole life. Oh, and I don't know if y'all can see back there, but I do have a deep freezer back there. I got these flowers from Michaels. Here's the white tray that I got from Dollar Tree. And all these items on my table are from Dollar Tree, except for these. These came from at home, and this came from Home Goods. Play, and I'll say it all again. You don't have to 
This is the finished results of this side of my tiny kitchen. I created a coffee bar. A wine rack. And two pantries. I hope I gave you some ideas if you have a small kitchen. I hope you got lots of ideas from watching this video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on my next one.